Welcome to my little video tutorial on Force Lightning and Adobe After Effects. The effect I'm going for uh, is based on the Force Lightning we've seen in Attack of the Clones. Take them together. You're going slowly on the left. Taking them now! No, Anakin, no! No! As opposed to the Force Lightning we've seen in Revenge of the Sith, which looks a bit different. I just uh, like Duku style more, so I'm going for that. Okay, we start by making a new composition. You can see that I already uh, set it up. There you make a new solid layer. Same size as the composition, filled black. There you go to effects, rendering effects, uh, advanced lightning. Many do not like this uh, effect opposed to lightning because um, it's too random or such, but I think it's perfect for this effect. Now we set the origin where we want to start and the direction where we want it to end. Then we get rid of the glow by just removing uh, the glow opacity. Okay. Down there, uh, check composite on original and set the lightning type from direction to strike okay uh, I'll just punch up the forking a bit to like 60 percent and set the decay to 0 0.4 percent so it doesn't uh, go all the way to the ending point okay now in order to animate this we will just um, click the stopwatch next to conductivity state starts with zero which is fine we'll jump to the end of the animation in my case that's a bit more than three seconds and set it to 10 also you have to uh, change that while you are uh, depending on how long your lightning will be okay that's pretty much it now we make a new adjustment layer the reason we're uh, applying these two effects we're going for now on this adjustment layer and not on the black solid itself is if we want to add another lightning we would have to uh, add the effects again and that takes more rendering time and blah blah so we'll just add effect distortion double and displace here change the amount to 90 the size to 3 uh, and we'll also animate the evolution. We'll set uh, zero is fine, and in the end, we'll go for uh, like one. That should surface. Yeah, you see, we already have that uh, random look. It doesn't look so straight and uh, clean anymore. But the thing is, Duke's Lightning also has this this kind of um wavy animation look so we also add distortion wave warp here we don't have to change much we'll just um, make the wave a bit wider set it from 40 to like 50 uh, wave speed is fine and we'll also animate the face we'll start out with 0 jump to the end and set it to uh, minus 2 Okay, now you can already see that it has this kind of waving look, which is better. Okay, now we're actually done with the lighting itself. All is left is uh, the glow, so we'll just make another adjustment layer. Go to effects, blur effects, fast blur. Give it a fast blur of 8. Set this layer's mode from normal to screen and duplicate it three times. The second layer's uh, blurriness we set to 16, the third one's to 32, and the last one's from 8 to 180. Is it? Uh, so that it gets that kind of outer glow too. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just take a quick look at the render. You see, it already takes uh, quite some time to render in the RAM preview because uh, we're using a number of kind of complex filters and effects. Um, yeah, depending on how good your PC is, uh, that might take quite some rendering time. Well, however, uh, there's not much left to do. One important thing, coloring. So we'll just make another adjustment layer and we'll have done light so we know how we do this. Go to color correction, um, color balance, check preserved luminosity, and set the midtones and the highlights for blue to 100 and punch up the green levels. The midtones for green and the highlights for green will be set to 35. So you see it gets this uh, light look that is very similar to Duke's Lightning. You could also um, make it more purple by uh, setting the midtones and the highlights for red to 20 which will be more like uh, the look of um, Palpatine's Lightning and Revenge of the Sith, but personally I just prefer Dooku's Lightning, so I'll make it that way. Okay, now let's have another look at it, because we're already done with the effect. Of course you have to animate the origin and the ending point, so uh, you get the movement of the lightning that you want for your footage. But yeah, you see, it's not that complicated at all, and I personally really like that style because it has, um, you know, it's kind of wonky and random, and it has this waving animation. I think it looks okay. Now, see my result for uh, the first time it did this effect. Yeah, I think that's okay. Well, now I'll just leave you with that, play around with the settings, um, come up with your own, and I hope that you'll be able to uh, even improve this method and get really awesome force lightning for your videos. Okay, so uh, just grab your camera, get out, call your friends to come over and get fried by you and do some awesome force lightning video effects. Have a nice day.